Okay. Hi, I'm Phyllis, and we're getting ready to trim Peppy this morning. He's a poodle, a miniature poodle. All right, we're going to get him situated first. So, first thing I'm going to do is put his ears up, get him out of the way. And the first area I'm going to trim is going to be his face and right around his eyes because that's where I have to be the most careful. Now I'm using a Wall Pro Series rechargeable dog clippers. I'm going to get up close on this now. Then right at his eye, corner of his eye, I'm going to make a little down motion there. Right, that's that side. I'm going to do the same on this side. Right at, right at the corner of his eye on the outside. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to trim right in here. Right under his eye. Be real, real careful here. And I'm going to trim right past the corner of his mouth because he's going to have a little mustache. I'm the other side. Now, Peppy's about 12 years old, so he's been trimmed many, many times, but it would be a real stretch to say he likes it, because he doesn't. But he has to be trimmed every six weeks. Now, come on this side and see the little hair sticking out from the ear there. I'm going to trim that right off. Come right on down to the neck. Now I want to not trim that part of the ear. I'm going to come down to about right here on his neck. Now this is a rechargeable clipper, and it really clips better if you keep it plugged in. Right now, they don't like being trimmed right around their mouth, so you have to be careful and don't nick them there. Just clean that up a little bit there. Come here, Peppy. Peppy, Peppy. So you see how I'm holding him? And he doesn't like being trimmed around his mouth. I guess not any dog does. Just want to make real sure that you don't nick them. Because then we'll have a problem trimming. I'm going to get this part right here. He doesn't like that at all. See how he's pulling back? Now I'm not going to nick him or anything. Oh, it's still cooking. All right, now I'm going to finish that up with the scissors. I'm going to go up and clean up this just a little bit here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Because he's going to have a little mustache. Okay, now while we've got him here, I'm going to also trim the edge to do with his ear. And I'm going to come up and finish that up later. Now, let me turn him around so you can see this. Here's where his, the top of his ear is. I'm just going to do like this. Not trimming the long hair on the ear, but just at the very top of the ear. Okay, and then I'm going to pick his ear up. And get all that. Again, just trimming right barely at the top of the ear. And we will finish this up with the scissors. I'm going to trim right at the back of his head. I'm going like that. You see how we've got that little area there indicated right there. All right, now I'm going to turn him around and do the other side. All right, sit, Peppy, sit. All right, again, put your fingers under the ear, kind of push up on it, and just kind of get that area right in there. And get that back, honey. Okay, now I'm going to work on the top of his head a little bit. 
The way I'm going to do that is take the scissors that come with the kit. The first area I'm going to do is right on top of his head, and my fingers are going to be the guide because I don't want to take much off the top so we can have a little top knot there. Then I'm going to go to this side, trim a little of that off. Go to this side and trim a little bit of that off, using my fingers as a guide. Then you want to taper it in the back. Still, again, just like beauticians do, just use your fingers as a guide. Now in the front, I'm going to pull it forward. Now this dog has been bathed and brushed out and combed out. Now I'm just going to go right around in a little circle. Clean this up back here. Now make sure you're clipping hair and don't catch his ear. So I'm going to trim that right there. The, the head is the hardest part. Once you get the head, and the next hardest part is going to be the, the paws. All right, I'm going to make sure I've got that up a little bit. Clean up any little parts that See, I'm going around kind of in a little circle there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just stand back and look at it every once in a while and make sure that it looks even. There's right. a little place I need to even up right there. That's right there, and a couple of places on the top. Let's cut his little mustache out. And I'm going to clip his little mustache with the scissors. Just a little bit. You may be a very good dog this morning. Yes, you are. You be careful around the lips. Okay, there's his face is all done. Of course, you can probably still see some sticking up. And you'll just need to go back and just gently trim that off with the scissors. There's the head. Now you're done on the head. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're ready to do his back now. Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to, I've gone ahead and plugged in my clippers this time because I want them working at full speed. I'm going to come straight down his back, all the way down, all the way down to his tail. All right, now I'm going, stand still, puppy. Now I'm going to come right up the top of his shoulders and just go right down, all the way down. We do the same thing on the other side. Then on the back, I'm going to go down like this. Now he's got a long back, so I'll let this part of it be thicker. Then I'm just going to work on this and trim it all down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, we're going to finish this up and be back in just a minute. Finish trimming his back, and now we're going to do his tail. Let's get that little bit right there. All right, first thing I'm going to do is trim off the end of it, about that much. And I'm going to just shave the tail. And when you get around here, we'll be very careful. Very, very careful. Don't look on here. It's a very delicate area. You want to be very, very careful. And finish trimming that tail. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put on a little guard. It's the smallest guard that comes with the clippers. Just snaps right on. There. 
and I'm going to clean up this area all around here and here because I want that hair shorter. Just going in an inch or so to, to clean that up. Again, I'm not shaving it. I've got on the little guard. Do the same up here. Okay. Now I'm going to do it right back in here. I want that real close to the skin, but not shaved. Right now, we're going to do underneath the dog. And he has to stand up on his hind legs for me to do this. So I'm just going to hold his paws and clean up all in here. And he doesn't like this, but he has to stand up for me to do that. And remember, I've got the guard on it, so I know I'm not going to cut him anyway. All right. All right. That's it. Now we'll trim the legs. And I'm going to do that by putting on the next guard. Stay still, Peppy. I'm going to use my purple guard for this one. And again, it just snaps on. And because he's all combed out, this makes it real easy. All right, I'm going to finish doing his back legs and his front legs, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're going to do uh, Peppy's foot now, and I'm going to do all four feet, but we, I'm just going to demonstrate with one of them. I'm going to just get to the top of his toenails. And they do not like their feet being trimmed, of course. And then on the back, right above the pad, just cut that off and cut that hair that's all sticking out. Now to do in between the toes, what I usually do, stay, stay still, Peppy. I'm going to trim right up to the top of the foot, and then just take your finger and pull that hair up, and then just clip it off. Now I'm going to finish up doing his feet, and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're going to cut Peppy's toenails now. Now I'm going to use this kind of clipper. See the blade in there? You want to make sure the blade is on the outside. So I'm going to put it on his toenail. Now he doesn't like this at all, of course. I'm going to clip it off. Now see how sharp that is? Now you can either use a file like this, which takes a very long time, but you definitely want to um, file off that edge, or you can use a Dremel. Now see the attachment here? It's gullied out there in the middle and this is real quick but I would suggest you be holding them in your lap when you do this. Now I'm going to cut it on and just stick it on there and it'll smooth it right down. Okay, see how it's all smooth? Now I'm going to finish doing the rest of his toenails and we'll be back. Okay, Peppy is all trimmed now. Now he's got his tail down because he wasn't real happy about getting his toenails trimmed, but he knows he's going to get a chicken treat now. Now he's a pretty hefty eater, so he got several bites of, of, of baked chicken. Now get that tail up, Pippi. There. All right, he is all trimmed and ready to go for about six weeks. I'll be back in just a minute and show you the uh, equipment I used. Peppy, look here. Look here. Look here. Are you all trimmed? Come on. Come on. He's looking for more chicken. Yeah. All right. Back in a minute. All right. Here's the equipment I used. A wall pet trimmer, and that can be recharged. There's the charger. So it comes with the charger, the trimmer, the scissors, the comb, and these guards, and then this is the guard where you store your, uh, when you store your, your clippers. Also, you'll need a toenail clipper, and if you can afford it, buy a Dremel. And there's only one attachment on that Dremel that you can use. That's just a little uh, thing that will uh, grind off their toenails. 
or you can use a regular dog toenail trimmer and of course these are the brushes I use with kind of with a little ball on the end so it doesn't hurt them and something to tie the ears up and I use a bath mat on my table. Again, there's the equipment. See you next time.